Maine is such an amazing state. From a fisheries and wildlife perspective, we just, we have it all, right? We've got the mountains, we have the lakes, the streams, the rivers, the coastline. We have year-round opportunity to be outside, um, no matter what your passion is. There's something to be said about being a fisheries biologist in Maine or a wildlife biologist in Maine, because we, the state of Maine has really amazing resources. So everybody wants to be that biologist here in the state of Maine, right? If you're a, you know, a brook trout biologist, a bear biologist, you, who wouldn't want to be in Maine, right? This is the place to be. We have amazingly uh, dedicated, passionate, qualified staff that are really progressive, they're thoughtful, they're coming up with new projects, new ideas, solutions. And so we are really fortunate to have the, the staff that we have. We have places that you can go that have never been stocked ever. So 10,000 years of evolution are in these isolated little ponds. We have places that have four pound trout. We have places that have a lot of four to eight inch trout. Uh, we have places that are stocked, and part of our job is to manage all of that. There's just over 20 fisheries biologists for the whole state of Maine, and obviously the state of Maine is quite large, and we have a lot of different unique and native fisheries populations. Just in the area I work, I have over 400 ponds and lakes and thousands of miles of streams, and there's only three of us in that region. So we can't get everywhere. What we ask is anglers, if you go out fishing, write down where did you fish, how long did you fish for, what did you catch, did you keep it, let it go, and that tells us, you know, A, what's in that water body, but years go by and you keep fishing the same water body and all of a sudden there's not as many fish as there was five years ago, that'll clue us in and it'll tell us maybe we should go look at this water. Another project we have going on, Citizen Sciences uh, foy tag studies, which is a, a little tag that's right next to the dorsal of a fish what we ask is if anglers catch that to report it. Each fish has a unique number, and then we'll know exactly how long that fish was when we first tagged it. And so if someone reports in five years from now, we'll be able to figure out how much did that fish grow and may be able to find out how many times it was caught before that time and um, even where it went. You know, we ask anglers to report where they caught it as well. Knowing that the work is helping ensure that these opportunities, these fisheries, these resources will be here for future generations, especially as a mom. That's what I'm most proud of. The anglers are so much more involved in our management now than they were in the past. So it's really been, you know, a cooperative effort. We feel like we've done a pretty good job at protecting the wild trout. The fishing has improved dramatically all around the state over the last 30 or 40 years. I think uh, a lot of that has to do with the, the protections we've put on, the management we've done and from the anglers. Our staff are really our best asset. Um, and then I think beyond that, our public is enormously supportive of um, the department, of our fisheries. Um, they are passionate advocates um, helping us to accomplish the goals that we need. So I think we're in as good a position as you can be in.